I'm adding two six terabyte hard drives, taking my capacity up to 42 terabytes and using all the available sleds in this box. Now to do that, my SATA ports are already occupied, so I had to get a add-in card. Now this is a two port and supposed to be compatible with Unraid. It is an Asmedia ASM 1061 add-in card. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking it apart. Now, one of the things I'm gonna to have to do, or actually may not have to do, is I've gotta take the drive sleds out and obviously populate them with the new drives. Now, these are all identical hard drives. Now the Fractal Design case has these little rubber grommets that mount the hard drive from the bottom. All right, so I got my hard drives installed. Now I need to figure out, I'll put this in the lower slot. All right, save my slot, my extra covers. Now we find out if the SATA cables I got are long enough. Yep, they should be. So as long as I can get power to them, we'll be up and running on two more drives. It's not gonna be routed pretty. So we're definitely gonna have to turn it back around because I gotta add another SATA power. And unfortunately, in order to get it to reach, I'm gonna have to use a Molex to SATA because I don't have a long enough cable for my power supply. So, fun. Sorry, I had to see a... <laughs> steal something to light. All right. All right, so my two SATA powers. Excellent cable management. One little quick tip on these cables, you can always bend them a little bit to get them so they don't hit the hard drive below. And then do some folding. And well, as simple as that, we added two more hard drives. In case you can't tell, I keep extra stuff in there. So now we're gonna make sure our all right. 
Everything's still looking good. I'll button this bad boy up. So we should be able to put it back in its spot and power it up and initialize two new drives. Hopefully, as long as the internet said was correct that this add-in card works. <laughs> For some reason, my power light quit working plugged in so I can't tell I had to open the front to see if it was actually on so it's powering on let's see if it boots up all right so you can see my other camera right there let's see why my mouse doesn't work <laughs> Corsair stuff is really good except it doesn't really warn you that your mouse is about to run out of power Wow, there we go. All right, so I didn't show it because I forgot to hit record on my screen recorder. <laughs> but as you can see, I have added two new disks. They are... Disk clear has started, so it is doing all its process to update those. Now, the reason I updated and added two more drives is as you can see, I've already had accumulated eight terabytes of data, which is basically a third of my capacity. So anything above six terabytes, I have to swap out the parity drive. It's something that's gonna happen down the road, but six terabytes aren't that expensive. So I went ahead and added a couple six terabytes instead of, well, upgrading to a bunch of new drives. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.